in this video, we're going to be doing an Ice V2 showcase in Fruit Battlegrounds. Before we get into this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications. And don't forget to join my Discord link in the description. Let's get right into it. Yo, what is good, everybody? So we are going to be showing you guys the Ice Fruit Showcase. Ice V2, by the way, not the regular trash ice. But yes, bro, shout out to my boy, um, Kaneki. He is letting me use his account to train with Ice V2 because I do have a tournament coming up, which it will be after since this video is going to be posted a little bit later. But yes, guys, we are going to get into these combos. Let's get right to it. All right, y'all. So for the first combo that I'm going to show you guys, it's pretty much like the main combo that everybody does. So you guys are going to start with the number three move, which to use this move, guys, what I would do is zoom out and aim like this. This is how you guys want to aim. Aim like this because right here, it could be if you aim at the guy, it might go over him as you guys just seen. It did go over him. So you guys aim like this. So boom and hit the three move on him. We're gonna let my my um uh my three regen. But before it regens, make sure to like and subscribe and comment. Also, press the link in this well, press the links in the description. One is to my Discord and one is to my merch that I have released since we hit 700 subscribers. But yes, anyways, let's hit this number three move. So boom, you could be running, boom. You hit this number three move, hold it down. It does this much damage. As you guys see, it'll keep hitting, keep hitting. Go back in shift mode. Find him, hit the, hit the number one move. Number one does this. While he's in that move, you guys want to hit the number four move. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like right now. Boom. And this is the number four move. And I'm not going to lie, bro. This is like the ultimate move, I guess you could say. But yes, that is the first combo. I would use the number two move right here. Like, hit him three times. Or you can even hit a max and what's called do it. But if I were you, I just would, wouldn't even do this move because it sometimes like people could get out of it and like hit you with a crazy move. But yes, that is the first combo. I'm gonna do it one more time slowly. I'm not gonna do use number four move because it uh, it's low key. Um, it takes a little while. But yes, hit the number three move. I'm gonna let, let go of it. Just cause boom, number one. This is gonna be the number four move. It's gonna do that that animation and then boom, just M1 him and then you could use it ice skate to get away. That's what I would do. That's what I would do, y'all. Yeah. So, boom. Next combo. Let's get right into it. All right, y'all. For the second combo, what you guys are going to want to start with is the number one move, Piercing Glacier. So, in a battle, how it would work, it will be him running. It will be him running to you, like, dashing. So, once he hits that dash, you guys will want to dash towards him and hit the number one move. Boom. Hit that number one move. And it's going to stun him. And then you're going to hit the number four move. And, yes, that's how it's going to end up. Boom. Let's go. Sir, this animation is very long because because the stuns on this um this fruit is very good. Like you could wait, you can even wait. M one, M one, M one. Number one move again, and then number three move. Boom. Even though I did not hit because I didn't place it correct, usually that hits if you just look down to where where he was when you hit the um number one move. But yes, that is the second combo. I'm gonna do it one more time, very slow. But yeah, bruh. This is my boy Static right here on his um Opie account. He's low key, he's low key devious with Opie, bro. But we're not talking about Opie right now. We're talking about Ice V2. Look at this Trident, bro. This Trident looks crazy. But again, let's hit this one more time. Number one move. Boom. It will hit the number four move. It will hit the number four. He's gonna be he's gonna be frozen right here. Hit the number one, hit the one, number one, hit the number one. Boom. Then that one, bro. That is the combo. That is the combo. But yes, bro, once you hit the number four move, like I'm going to do right now, I'm going to just let go of it. You guys are going to want to um, M1. You guys are going to want to M1. Cause look, even though it's boom, boom, and then boom, number one, and then number three, right there. Or, I'm going to show you the next combo, which is going to involve the Blizzard Blade. So yeah, let's get right into that one too. I, uh, for the, I think this is the third combo right now. The third combo, you're going to start off with the number three move. Oh, GG's. You're going to start with the number three move. So, boom, hit the number three move. Yes, sir. Once it hits, boom, let go. I'm going to catch him, catch him midair with that move. Number four move. Boom. See, see how I caught him with the number four move? Right here, he's pretty much cooked, right? Look, he's already at 300 damage. Boom, now that's 200. You're going to want to go up to him and hit the number two move, y'all. Hit the number two move. And boom, just hold it down. Hold it. Just look down on the ground. And the chance of him flying away is high. But boom, as you see, he, he did fly away. And then what's it called? From that, you could hit the number E move. The, the letter E move and ice skate towards him. 
I'm gonna show one more that what's it called is very good. So look, if you guys are gonna hit the piercing glacier. This is this is the number number four combo by the way, y'all. This is the fourth combo. What's it called piercing glacier? Go to him. This one, yes sir. Hit the blizzard blade, and then once he's in the air, you guys are gonna see the number E move. And what's it called? You guys are gonna just chase him. This is very good to number one get away and to chase people. That's that's what I use it for to get away or to chase people. Uh, my boy is just stuck in the corner right now, but it's fine. But yes, bro. Let's get on to the fifth combo, bro. This this is the last combo, y'all. Let's go. Ah, y'all. So for the last combo, you guys are gonna want to start off with the piercing glacier. So boom, hit the piercing glacier. Switch to three. Boom, hit him. Let go. You guys want to catch him with the with the four move? Boom, catch him. Let's go. And boom, pretty much from here, he's pretty much cooked, like I've been saying. And boom, from here, look, you see how I already have Pearson Glacier back? M1, M1, M1. I'm not going to do it, but once he gets out of my M1s, I'm going to just hit the number one move. Boom. And then from here, if you do it correctly, you should have Ice Hall or Blizzard Blake back. Because, guys, when you hit the number four move, there's a long stun. So you guys could wait until most of your moves are at least, like, halfway back. If they're halfway back, boom, you can start your M1. Hit, hit the piercing glacier, and then boom, your your number three move will be there. As you guys see, boom, I just killed, I just killed Static. But yes, guys, that is the last combo. Alright, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and join my Discord in the link in the description. And check out my merch also in the link in the description. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.